Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to remove any background using Adobe Photoshop. Now in this video I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5. And when it comes to removing backgrounds it actually does matter what version of Photoshop that you have. If you have previous versions of Photoshop starting with CS3, so if you have CS3, CS2, CS1 and whatever versions that came before, you most likely have the extract tool. So you could click on filter and the extract button will be right around here and you could use that tool to remove backgrounds. It's a very simple tool and it's effective most of the time. So if you do have previous versions, I'd recommend taking a look at that tool first. Now I am using CS5 and CS5 does not have that tool. They skipped that in CS4 and in CS5 they brought in some other tools that pretty much replace it. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at a couple different ways, uh, three to be exact, of how to remove different types of backgrounds in Photoshop. Now, each of these ways has a pro and a con, or multiple pros and cons. Um, depending on what type of background you have, the more simpler the background is, you should use a certain way. And if your background is more complicated, then there are different methods that you should use to remove that background. And sometimes you'll even find yourself um, combining some of these different ways to get a really good clean cut out of your background. So with all that being said, let's take a look at the image I have open in Photoshop. This is a model picture of me wearing one of the shirts uh, for my up and coming clothing company. And the reason I selected this image is because of the background. I'm on the beach and we have a clear blue sky at the top of the image and then we have a very rocky, multiple colored background at the bottom. So the top is going to be a lot easier to remove than the bottom. So with this image, I could show you guys all of the multiple different ways and you could see the differences that they make. So we're going to get started with the first way. The first tool we're going to use is the background eraser tool. The background eraser tool is usually hidden behind the normal eraser tool. So just uh, click, hold, and select the background eraser tool. Now you want to select a fairly big size, and you're going to see uh, a plus in the middle of the eraser tool. You want to make sure that that plus ends up on the background that you want to remove, and you have just a little bit of the circle of the eraser tool on the subject that you're removing. So I'm going to click right next to my ear, and as you can see, it removes the background without removing me. I'm going to zoom in here and you can see it actually did a pretty good cut of the background. And I'm going to zoom back out and what we could do is just continue going around and around and around and around and as you can see it's doing a pretty good job. But if we go down here to the rocks, that's when it starts messing up. I'm going to zoom in and as you can see it removed some of the rocks but it also removed a big part of me. So the background eraser tool is not very useful in this situation. It's only good for simple backgrounds. And moving on, another tool that's really quick and easy to use for simple backgrounds is the magic wand tool. With the magic wand tool, we could just click. And as you can see, it selected this entire blue area. And we could just press the delete button. And it does a fairly good job of deleting it. Now it's not as good as the background eraser tool, but if you have like model pictures taken in a studio with a plain color background, then this is what you're going to use to remove those backgrounds. Also, in addition to the magic wand tool, if you click and hold on that tool, we could choose the quick selection tool. Now on that quick selection tool, uh, it gives us a little bit more flexibility. With the magic wand tool, you just click on an area that you want to remove and it removes whatever it wants. But with the quick selection tool, we could remove it piece by piece. So if you see me clicking in these little areas, it just keeps adding and we can start removing piece by piece. And it does uh, a better job of including detail into your image. So if you press delete, you see more of that image gets removed. Now also a really cool thing that you could use with the magic wand tool and the quick selection tool, if you have Adobe Photoshop CS5, you could click on this button right here, the refine edge tool. But what you want to do first is deselect everything that you deleted. So command D if you're on a Mac, control D if you're on a Windows. Once you deselect, you want to hold command or control and click on the thumbnail for this image. 
And now what that's going to do is select our actual thing that we want to keep. And then we click on the refine edge tool and it opens up this little toolbox. And as you can see, it makes the background white. Now what we could do is uh, change our view. We could just have it on white. We could have it black and white on layers, uh, just a bunch of different stuff. I usually just like to keep it on white. And so what we could do with the refine edge tool is click on smart radius over here and we could just mess with these settings. We might want to expand the size of the radius so it takes more out of the image if you don't think that you cropped out enough. Um, we could smooth the image or the selection. A really good tool is the feathering tool. If we increase that, and let me zoom in after increasing that, you see it kind of blurs out the edge right there. So that's what the feathering tool does. Um, we could add some contrast, we could shift the edge, just mess with these settings a lot to make the selection better and it makes it a lot clearer. So that's the refine edge tool. And lastly, the last tool that we're going to use is the magnetic lasso tool. Now this tool is going to take the longest time, but it's probably what you want to use on those more complex backgrounds. And this is what I usually use when I want to remove images, just because it does a lot more professional job than any of the other tools, because you're manually cutting everything out. So we're going to select the magnetic lasso tool. It's usually hidden behind the normal lasso tool. And then what we're going to do is zoom in. We're going to start right about here and just click on the edge and just start moving along. As you can see, it starts uh, pretty much latching on to the corners on its own. When it leaves a little square, that means that that's pretty much latched on and we have that done. What you could also do is click to manually do it. And then we just want to go around this entire image. Just pretty much doing this. Now, it is going to take a long time. I know that. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why I included all these other tools in the tutorial. So if you don't want to waste your time doing all of this, then you could just use those other tools. Now, if it does accidentally um, latch onto something that you don't want, let's say if I go in here and uh, it puts in a square right over there. And obviously, I don't want that square to be there. What I could do is press delete and it gets rid of that. So and then I could just continue on doing what I want. Now I'm going to just do my head. So I'm going to get rid of all the background for my head. And I'm just going to make this a really quick rough selection. Let's see. All right, and that's good enough. Now, once I have my head selected, what I usually do is click on Select, Modify, and now you have all these options for the selection. What we could do is expand it. Let's say if uh, we think that we cut off a little too much, we could expand by maybe a couple pixels, and the, um, the selection expands a little bit. What we could also do is smooth it out. So we're going to smooth that by a pixel, and then what we're going to do is feather it. This feather tool was also in the refine edge box, um, but we, we want to feather it by about two pixels and press OK. And then we're going to go to select inverse, and now it's going to select everything but my head, and I press delete. And if you can see, there you go, my head is selected. Now obviously I did a very, very bad job in this, but I just wanted to show you guys um, the magnetic lasso tool and all of these different... Um, and all these different modify tools that you could use. So that's pretty much it. That's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a lot. Um, if you do take your time and sit there and uh, use the magnetic lasso tool or any of these other tools, you could get a pretty good selection. So that's it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.